KTELCO Sports presented by Grand Lake Health. We're at Wapakoneta High School to bring you high school girls district basketball tournament action where the New Knoxville Rangers take on the Fort Recovery Indians. Tonight's game is brought to you by American Trim, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, NK Telco, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Gem, Precision Strip, Sweeterman Pharmacies, New Knoxville Supply Company, Fruits and Construction, Fowler's TV, Wilson Health, Sy Sweeterman Incorporated, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning, Wayne Trail, Cargill, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, The Spot, and St. Mary's Foundry, our fine sponsors here tonight at Walpaw High School. District semifinal action between New Knoxville and Fort Recovery, along with Jeff Henson. I'm Dave Kanapke. MAC Showdown, the visiting team, New Knoxville Rangers, 17 and 7, 5 and 4 in the MAC. They've won four in a row, including tournament wins over Ada last Tuesday and a very tough one over their rival New Bremen on Saturday. Yeah, it was. They had a, an easy one, as you mentioned, over Ada, but New Bremen and New Knoxville, great matchup. New Knoxville got ahead and, and held on at times. New Knoxville looked like they might win by 20, but New Bremen cut it down to, to six late in the game, kind of back and forth. And, and New Knoxville, you know, hit some shots down in a stretch and, uh, and earned a victory here since two years in a row now. New Knoxville has defeated their rival New Bremen last year at St. Mary's. This year at Lima Bath, now they're advanced here to the Walpaw District and playing some pretty good basketball as of late. Their last loss was to a Minster team and uh, the Minster game before us defeated um, Mary Local, the co-champs in the MAC conference this year. Now New Knox will have a chance to go against the other portion of co-champ for recovery. For recovery, 18 and five, as Jeff mentioned, co-champs with Marion Local. They've won three in a row, six of the last seven, and they had a very tough win as they escaped over one of their rivals, St. Henry, by two. Yeah, that was a wild game there in the, in the sectional finals. They win by two. Um, it was a dog fight, as the score would indicate, kind of wild, a lot of action, but they made some plays down the stretch, got the big win, and you mentioned their last two losses are against some pretty good teams, Tri-Village and Franklin Monroe, both those teams still alive in the tournament trail, so some quality losses for the Indians who have been playing, again, good basketball down the stretch. They're, they're big and they're physical. These two teams met back in January 16th. Fort Cover won pretty easy, 50 to 28. We'll see how it turns out here tonight. We'll be right back with the starting lineups on NK Telco Sports. Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. American Trim's story started in 1951, and our long family legacy continues today. We are a third-generation family-owned business with locations in Sydney and Walpaw, and we're hiring for manufacturing positions on first, second, and third shifts. Part-time and full-time positions are available for entry-level and skilled individuals. Please apply at www.amtrim.com or in person. American Trim is a proud sponsor of high school sports and our communities. Come be part of our story. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hey Minster, this is Nate Henry with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your existing cable TV, internet, and phone service. Hey Botkins, I'm Brett Gerstner with NK Telco, and we are here for you and to help you operate your business network. Hey Maria Stein, I'm Ken with NK Telco. 
and we are here for you with Hometown Pride. Hi, Arushi. I'm Tim Metzger, and we are here for you for your installation of your telephone, cable TV, and internet. Contact NK Telco at 1-888-NK-TELCO. Welcome back to here to Walpaw High School. They're getting ready to announce the non-starters and the starters for both teams. I mentioned as we went to break there, early in this season, you were at this game. These two teams played each other, and Fort Recovery had their way with the Rangers, won by 22. Yeah, it started off somewhat of a close back and forth game, low scoring. And somewhere about that middle of the latter part of the second quarter, Fort Recovery got some open looks inside. New Knoxville, I don't think, we rotated well on defense. Fort Recovery exposed. Them. They got some easy scores and that opened the lead at that time to about seven or eight. And a, and a good start to the third quarter by four recovery where they took an eight point lead to double digits and then they rolled from, from there, as you said, the big win 50 to 28. Just nothing went right for New Knoxville offensively that night on the road at four recovery. Look at these two teams. The MAC teams were mentioned just uh, announced a couple weeks ago. A lot of representation. Let's first start with the Rangers. Had two players in, on the first team with senior Megan Jurassic and sophomore Ellie Gable. Yeah, Gable is the only sophomore in the league to earn first team honors. So congratulations to her and Megan Jurassic, first team as well. And, you add to that second team, Morgan Luffel, and I will mention Jacqueline Luffel, so well represented. Good honors, congratulations to those girls. And also from Fort Recovery, a lot of well representation as they have one on the first team in Val Bolenkamp and three others getting recognition. Yeah, second team, Allie Vaughn, Kira Wendell, and then Brooke Callow, defensive stopper, earns honors. So again, both these teams near the top of the league and then well represented with good athletes. Good players earning honors. So I mentioned the non-starters for New Knoxville. They won five of the last six, eight of the last 10, 14 of the last 17. And you see this a lot with the Tim Hegemeyer coach team. They get better as the season goes on. Yeah, they've definitely improved. Their shooting, excuse me, their shooting has gotten better, and that's helped. They're getting scoring from a more than just one person, if you will, in certain games. They're getting multiple help, and that really has helped their offense. And their defense has always been good, and it continues to be very good. And for four recovery, a change in leadership is uh, Brian Patch was replaced by Holly Gann, an alumni of uh, four recovery, a very good player, Holly Stein. Uh, six, she was a thousand point scorer, sixth highest scoring all time, member of Fort Recovery Hall of Fame, and she has really done a good job with these Indians. Set the bar very high in her first season, the 18 and five record co-champs. And again, her first year, but doing a super job with a, a, a bunch of girls and they're very talented too. Now the American Trim starting lineup, they're doing alternate possession. Taylor Newman for New Knoxville, five, seven senior. Now for the Indians, 5'5", five, five senior number 15, Brooke Colick. Averages six, over six points a game. Next up for the Rangers, number four, another senior, Jacqueline Level averages eight points a game. Kiara Wendell, number 20 for the for the Indians, a 5'5", five, five junior, averages 8.6. Morgan Leffel, 5'7", junior, averages just under 11 points a game. Olivia Patch, a 6'2", senior, tall player in the inside for the Indians. Megan Jurassic, a 5'11", senior, first team All-MAC, averages nine points, six rebounds. Val Camp. Two straight years, first team all MAC, 10 points and six rebounds. Running out the lineup, Ellie Gable, a great sophomore season, 11 points, five assists a game. And for the Indians, 5'10 junior Allie Vaughn, eight and a half points a game. Head coaches again, Tim Hagemeyer for New Knoxville in his 15th year, and Holly Gann for Fort Recovery in her first year. Again, those are American Trim 
starting lineups. Now let's talk about our keys to the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. Well, first for New Knoxville, they want to make sure they stop the dribble penetration. The forward recovery did to them last game. They want to keep everyone in front of them and outside the paint. Got to box out New Knoxville. has not rebounded the ball very well. They got to limit the Indians to one and done. And turn, less than 10 turnovers is what Coach Hegemeyer is hoping for. Keep the ball in possession of the Rangers. And for the forward recovery Indians, they want to match their intensity. They expect New Knoxville to come out here with. New Knoxville plays very fired up for recovery. I hope to match that. Maintain composure if things don't go well. Maintain composure if things got a little rattled in their game against St. Henry, but they were able to regroup and, and earn the win. And more importantly, she says, have fun. Play loose, have enjoy the game, and, and good things will happen for the Indians. Those are your keys to the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. It's a tip control by the Indians. Very tall lineup, 6'2 and 6 foot. And there's Mullenkamp with the jumper. Rebound goes out of bounds off of New Knoxville. Will stay for the Indians. And they got a long shot there from Garkey, a three point shooter hitting at 29%. She misses, but New Knoxville not able to get the rebound. So it's going to be another opportunity here for the Indians. First possession. Mullenkamp gives it up, or Mullenkamp gives it up there to Wendell. Wendell in the corner to Patch. 18 Jurassic, and 5. Jurassic well off Patch. They don't expect her to shoot many from beyond the arc. Vaughn all the way over to Colic. Shot up. She was bumped. And they'll say it was off in New Knoxville. Knoxville fans on that end weren't Do you think that was in a agreement of that. Shot? I think so is what so they were saying. Third possession now. So we'll get another replay here, see if we can take a look. I don't think so. It looks but like it went clean. It might have been a pass the way Pollock responded, and Vaughn will draw a foul. Rough start for New Knoxville. And they, yeah, the last one, maybe, maybe that was a pass, but uh, then a foul now here in New Knoxville. So a long possession, almost a minute taken by the Indians. And so far, the ball bouncing in favor of poor recovery, but for New Oscars credit, have not scored until now. Wendell with a two-pointer. Long eight, two. Yeah, 8.6 points a game. Second team all MAC. That's tipped away. Stolen by Vaughn. Up ahead to Colic. Patch gives it up to Wendell. Colic open for the three. Fights for the rebound as she goes out of bounds and will go to the Rangers. For recovery as a team, not a real good three-point shooting team percentage-wise, just 27%. New Knoxville a little bit better. They come in at 34%, so already seen a couple three-pointers taken by the Indians. Both of them were missed. Rangers break the pressure. Turnover on their very first possession. Gable with the basketball, sophomore, set the all-time season assist record this year. Before New Knoxville, she broke the record that's been around for a little while. Yeah, since 1999, Krista Oberlander set it with 104 assists. Gable, I think, had 113 this season. Jacqueline Leffel, that was partially blocked. Follow there by Morgan Leffel, gets the rebound, draws the foul. Oh, good job by Morgan. Seeing, watching the ball. It's always important as a rebounder. You got to watch the ball. Some people want a shot. They will turn and lose sight of it. Morgan had a good angle. Saw was blocked. Earned the offensive rebound. Missed a shot, but on the second look, got fouled. Hits the first free throw. Morgan Leffel, second team, all MAC. As you see, the winner's meets, winner's quality meets replay. It's a pair to tie the game. Two to two on our first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank, think first. Indians back on the attack. Colic in the corner with drive. Tries to find a teammate. It will go out of bounds, and the referees will confer. Yeah, I have no idea, so. And it will be Ranger ball. Each team with a turnover. For the game for the Rangers be Haley Fletter, John, another sophomore into the game, replacing Taylor Newman. Indians with full court pressure. Rangers 17 and 7 on the season. 
A little bit of a slow start, three and four. Jacqueline Level with the tray. 36% on the season. And again, as I mentioned in our other broadcast, shooting the ball much better the second half of the season. We talked about getting other scorers involved. You're not so struggled early on scoring the basketball. Have upped their points per game average, if you will. And Jacqueline Leffel has been a big contributor to that, hitting some three-point shots. She's made 34 on the season and has been shooting at a very good percentage at 36%. Turnover gives it back to the Rangers. Gable with the drive. Rebound for Camp. She'll take it herself across the timeline. Almost loses the handle. Shot up off the mark there by Vaughn. Rebound Rangers. Nice job by Dunox. Roll those long shots. Sometimes rebounds can really jump off the rim that time it did not Jurassic with a rebound. She'll always be around the ball. She on rebound. She averages six boards a game for New Knoxville. Jurassic with the basketball. Five to two New Knoxville here in the early going. The winner of this game will come back Saturday night to play MAC Foe Minster, who prevailed over a Marion local by 10 in a game which was much closer than the score would indicate. Pass to Jurassic rolls off, but Megan will shoot two. They're going to pick up a foul on Val Mullenkamp. Nice dribble drive by Flutter John finding her teammate Jurassic and all but almost in for Jurassic. Would have been nice to have the hoop and a harm, but uh, nice move by the Rangers. And for Val Mullenkamp, that's her second foul already. Megan Jurassic misses the first one, second year in a row. She's first team all MAC. Also, second team as a sophomore, so a very good career for Megan. Page Fort Camp, Dave, number 14, into the ball game. I, I believe she's the one that came in, but Mullenkamp will have to sit down with the two fouls. And the two quick fouls there against their leading scorer. It's Jurassic with the second one. There's Fort Camp will pull up, roll off. Leffel with a rebound. Boy, instant offense, she just got in the game and first touch, had a good looking shot. It didn't go in, good job by Morgan Leffel with the defensive rebound. Gable able to hang on to the basketball. Now a flutter, John. Halfway through this first quarter. A lot of pressure by the Indians. Flutterjohn picks up her dribble. Fortunate to get it to Leffel, back to Flutterjohn. Knoxville's done a good job. You mentioned our keys of the game, that Coach Egmar wants 10 or less turnovers. They average 11 as a team, so pretty good. On the other hand, part shot partially blocked there by Fort Recovery. New Knoxville comes up with a gable with a runner in the basket. Let's call that an offensive rebound, possibly for New Knoxville to get second chance look. And an 8-2 lead. I mentioned in Oxford, 11 turnovers a game for recovery, 13 a game. So both teams, I think, take pretty good care of the basketball for the most part. Knoxville maybe a little bit better, 11 turnovers per game compared to the 13 for the Indians. Vaughn tries to drive. Very balanced offense for Fort Recovery, and there's a big jumper there by Olivia Patch. Averages three points a game, and kind of an awkward pass there. She had dropped it, and I was wondering if she was allowed to dribble from about, what, 15 feet? She let it fly and hit it, so her first two points of the game. Into the game, Brenna Holman replaced Vaughn. So Fort Recovery is a little smaller than what they were. Vaughn out of the game at 5'10", replaced by Holman, that's 5'4", and Mullenkamp already on the bench. It's a six-footer, a long pass ahead to Flutter John. Good defense there, knocked out of bounds. Yeah, by Kira Wendell. She did a good job. Flutter John's quick. Wendell just as quick, able to limit that opportunity on what, like the home run or the bomb pass, facing full court pressure. Gable inbound it. To her classmate Flutter John, back to Gable. Kicks it over Leffel with a tray. Morgan Leffel. Seven-point lead for the Rangers. Morgan made five of 17 attempts on the regular season from three-point range, and she hit her sixth. Hasn't shot a lot of them, but did shoot more near the end of the year and hits her sixth one of the season for her fifth point. Wendell with the drive. Nice move for the basket. Well, again, Wendell, quick, Dave, can get to the basket, and that's what Coach Hegmar wanted to prevent is the Indians going to the basket without a defender in front of them. Foul on the play all by Wendell. 
be her first foul. As left will go to the line to shoot two. Rangers have earned three fouls against the Indians. All three have been shooting fouls, and Leffel's already two for two. She's near the top of the MAC regular season, Dave, at 81%. Continues to shoot the free throws very well. Had a very good junior year, second team all MAC, just under 11 points. Four rebounds, also a very good defender as well. Yeah, and usually she's assigned, like she was guarding Molenkamp to start the game. Usually it gets assigned the other team's best offensive player, and which is good, but she's 5'7". A lot of times she's guarding girls much taller than her. Three ball by Vaughn, Allie Vaughn with the tray. Her ninth made three-point shot of the season. They've already shot quite a few, and as a team, Dave, they don't make many. Vaughn only 22%. And there's an over and a back call there as a pressure. Yeah, you got to be careful crossing the timeline. It's uh, it's a hard habit to break, evidently, because teams do it, and then you can't throw the ball backwards. And this time, Morgan Leffel couldn't get front court status before yeah, she, she received the ball. Yes, yeah, I think she was actually in the front court, but she hadn't established herself. That'd be with two feet in the front court. And there is almost a steal, and there is. Leffel all the way and in. Oh, nice job by finishing it, Dave. Protected the ball with her body. I'm not sure which Indian was trailing, but she's right last minute put it in front of her body so it couldn't be stripped from behind. Shot up, follow, and in by Vaughn. A good offensive, offensive rebound there for the Indians, and Vaughn has been active and again battled in there. Had good position. The ball fell right where it had to for her, and she. Converts. She averages 8.5. Kiera Wendell averages 8.6. And you have Mullenkamp that's over 10. She's not able to complete the three point play at a bump on Vaughn. This will be the first foul, Dave. The Indians have committed the Walnut send New Knoxville to the foul line. Already four fouls here. Still a minute 25 to go in the first quarter. Pretty offensive game. Both these teams average about the same points. 44 for New Knoxville, 45 for full recovery. Both teams give up about the same amount of points. New Knoxville, 35, full recovery, 36. We're on pace here for a little bit higher offensive numbers if this continues the next three quarters. Both these teams, good defensive teams. We had two de good defensive teams in the first game, Mary and Minster. These are the top four MAC teams. Top four in the MAC made it to the district. It's uh, the old cliche defense wins championships is true once again. Yeah, four teams here tonight. The top four teams defensively as far as points per game average. Under Jurassic, Vaughn tips it away with the steal. Colic, Wendell dribbles it off her foot. So an opportunity goes by the boards for the Indians. Indians with four turnovers in the first quarter. New Knoxville with three. Each team exchange turnovers here in the last two possessions. 14-11, New Knoxville. Pass ahead, Leffel. Newman will kick it out to Gable. Puts up a left-handed shot, rolls off. Battle for the rebound goes to the Indians. Will camp across the timeline, lobs it. A little bit too late there to Rammel and a turnover to the Rangers. I think Rammel was open earlier than that and Fort Camp just didn't see her in time and then I think rushed it because New Knoxville had not recovered yet. Would have been an open look for Rammel, but the ball goes out of bounds. 36 seconds to go for the quarter break in a pretty intense first quarter. And maybe a big status. You remember Fort Camp already with two personal fouls. Hasn't played much in the first quarter for Fort Recovery. Down to 20 seconds, Gable to Leffel. At this point, maybe the Knox was going to go for the last shot. Wasn't the, really the intention at first of this possession. We're now under 10. Tried to get it down to Jurassic. That's stolen away. Vaughn will have to launch a half quarter off the mark. One quarter in the books here at this district semifinal. Rangers 14, Indians 11. We'll be back here on NK Toko Sports. 
New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaize County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. One quarter in the books here at Wapakoneta High School for this district semifinal close game. The Rangers up by three. Yeah, kind of an offensive. Well, for New Not well, it's, it seemed offensive. A lot of action. Uh, there were a lot of shots taken for the first quarter for recovery. 5-11 on the field, just one of five from three-point range. New Knoxville, on the other hand, four for nine. Not as many shots, but making four of them, two of them being three-pointers. And also New Knoxville from the foul line scored on four points, four out of six from the free throw line. Jurassic trying to drive on Rammel. Strong move, rolls off. And a frustration foul there on Jurassic. Yeah, that was a, you said it exactly right. Jurassic had a real nice move, worked on Rammel, got a high quality shot. It didn't drop, and then obviously went after it aggressively, trying to knock it away, picks up her first foul. It looks like New Knoxville has now switched to a zone. Looks like a 3-2 zone. So Chegemeyer mixing up his defense. Has the Rangers played a lot of zone this year? Jeff? I would say no. More man-to-man. -man. Yeah, I come to think of it, you know, if they did, I missed it. But uh, definitely a new wrinkle. Obviously, for recovery is um, regrouping right now and trying to. And zones always kind of slow things down a little bit at first till teams know how to maneuver and find the opening. There's Molenkamp back in with two fouls, saves it from going out of bounds. Michelle must got her third foul yep. on the rebound, but uh, went straight up and there. keeps the possession alive. But boy, it'd have been big if they whistled it. But I, I don't think it was from this angle. She's just that tall, six feet. Even a high reach. And can jump as well, a very athletic player. Wendell inbounded. To Mullenkamp. And again, Luffel guarding her at five feet, seven inches. Mullenkamp at six feet. So usually Luffel gets assigned, uh, again, the best score. And usually the, the player that's um, a little bit bigger than she is on the interior. Vaughn. Drives out of bounds. They say knock off the Jurassic and Megan goes over to try to make sure she's okay. As Olivia Patch checks back in the lineup for Whitley Ramel. Vaughn had five points in the first quarter, hit a hit their only three point shot. Again, they were one of five in the first quarter from three point range. New Knoxville, two of three in the first quarter from three point range. Kalik picks up her dribble in a little bit of trouble. Gable playing aggressive defense. She had a couple fouls in the Bremen game, sat out, and the Bremen, while she was out, made a bit of a run with her not on the court, so, wow. Kalik with the drive bump there, call a blocking foul. <laughs> it's like when the ball handler goes to the basket and runs right into you, I don't know what you're supposed to do sometimes. Tough break for New Knoxville. Morgan Level with the first foul against her. Allie Vaughn misses the first one, a 5'10 junior, second team All-MAC. Or check that, Brooke Colick, senior, honorable Pretty mention in All-MAC. Good she free throw pair. shooter, yeah, 77% to get another offensive rebound, but a 77% shooter misses both. Patch has hit two jumpers, that one's a three ball. Well, I said earlier in the game, they didn't expect her to shoot from the outside, they were way off of her. She's made, that's her eighth three-point shot she's attempted this season, making three of them. The timeout is New Knoxville having some trouble in the backcourt. Coach Hegemeyer calls the timeout, 30-second timeout. 
That'll give us an opportunity to remind you that Grand Lake Health's presentation of high school athletics on NK Toco Sports is being brought to you by Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Gem, Precision Strip, Schroederman Pharmacies, New Knoxville Supply, Ferguson Construction, Fowler's TV, Wilson Health, Sy Schroederman Incorporated, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, Wayne Trail, Cargill, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, The Spot, St. Mary's Foundry, or Keys to the Game sponsored by Keyhole Pizza, replays by Winner's Meats. And you got a quick look there at the Knoxville bench under around Coach Hegemeyer, the winningest coach in the Knoxville history. And he surpassed Roger Stauffer, who was the boys coach from 1938 to 1953. Coach Hegemeyer earned a, broke the record in the last regular season game of the year. At, the record was 229. Now it's at 232. Rangers try to go over the top, stolen by Mullenkamp. She'll pull up for a long three, and it goes short. Jurassic with a rebound. That follow-up on Coach Hegmar, Roger Stauffer, the boys coach during those years, took the team to the 1947 Class B state runner-up team. Coach Hegmar took a team to state as well, runners-up back in 2007. So congratulations to Coach Hegemeyer, and I'm sure he's only concerned about the next victory, yep. which he hopes is tonight. Jurassic will kick it. Gable thought about a three. Will drive to the hoop and draw the foul. Yeah, split the defenders. Take your pick on which one will commit the foul. And you go back, Dave, to that last possession. New Knoxville had it facing the, the press. They threw a long diagonal pass. Mullenkamp intercepted it. I think that's the right idea. You got to go diagonal because they're double teaming. Someone's open. Maybe threw it. The girl down here was a little bit too close to the Fort Recovery defense. But at least if you throw it away going to your basket, they've right. got to go like the floor to score. You hopefully have defenders back to stop that transition. And what makes this Fort Recovery uh, press so tough is they're so tall. There's, and they're athletic. They go 6'2", six 6'5", six 10", with some quick guards. As Gable hits a pair of free throws, get the lead back to the Rangers by two. Yeah, they're, they're tall and lengthy, and that size can cover a lot of ground. And when you're ball pressure, it's tough for the offensive player to see it. Leffel trying to get a steal there. The Collig did a nice job of getting the ball back. Yeah, good hustle by Collig, not letting Leffel get to it. Wendell with the drive and rolls it in to be tied again. Good job by the Indians. They survive the turnover and then get a bucket in transition a little bit. Letter John with the tray. Her ninth made three-pointer of the season. Hitting at 25%, 8 of 31 coming in. Big shot there. Quick quick release, too, on that, I should say, quick shot in the possession. Knoxville didn't run a lot of clock off, and Flair John able to hit it. They try to go underneath to Vaughn. Wendell with a three. Fordkamp with a follow. Jurassic comes out with a board. Gable across the timeline. She will pull it back and reset it as she can hear coach Eggemeyer in his in her ear tries to drive hesitation dribble draws the foul nice move probably wish they wouldn't have blown the whistle although maybe the defense stopped but nice hesitation change of pace it's amazing how well that can work when you can do that yeah I was just going to follow up on that that you see the good ball handlers they change the pace they don't just dribble drive straight ahead they stop pause step back and then go ahead and Drew the foul there. And there's a steal there by Wendell. Good anticipation. Good job at Wendell stepping into the passing lane. Colic underneath. That'll go out of bounds off of New Knoxville. You mentioned the change of pace on the dribble and why some people maybe think, oh, what's the big deal? Name me some good baseball pitchers that don't have a change up. There aren't any. Everyone can gauge a 99-mile fastball. The good ones can. They'll catch up to it. They'll time it. They'll hit it. You have to keep the batters off balance, just like you have to keep the defender off balance. You don't have to be the quickest one on the court. Just keep the person guarding you off balance so you, they don't know where you're going and when you're going. 6-2 Olivia Patch leaves in favor of 6-2 Whitley Rammel. Yeah, it doesn't get much smaller. Not too many teams have a 6-2 player on the bench, as well as a 5-10 page four camp. And there's a three by Wendell, and it hits the at the top of the basket, it'll be Ranger basketball. Yeah. Went over the backboard, violation. Team rebound to Knoxville. Morgan Leffel checks back in. 
Pace the Rangers. slowed down, Dave. Not so much the pace, I should say, but the scoring. It was 14 to 11 at the end of the first quarter. So New Knoxville scored five, and likewise, the Indians. There's a double team, got to come and meet the pass. New Knoxville does not. Wendell with the layup. And that's, that's the, sco the scoop and the steal, or the steal and the score. They jumped the, the ball handler, and New Knoxville has got to come meet it. The defense almost a little bit more hungry than the offense there to get the ball. And that will roll out of bounds off of Gable. So back-to-back -back turnovers. You don't want any turnovers, but the ones that kill you have turned into instant buckets the other way. Exactly right. Coach Hegemeyer will call a timeout. Three minutes to go, the Rangers up by one. You're watching Tournament Basketball on NK Toco Sports. Supply Gem Residential Solutions is part of Cornerstone Building Brands, North America's largest manufacturer of exterior building products. And the success of our company is directly related to the contributions of our employees. We are currently looking for machine operators, maintenance technicians, forklift operators, and more to join our growing team at our facility in Sydney, Ohio. Supply Gem offers competitive pay, a full benefits package, as well as opportunities for bonus pay and long-term advancement. Become a part of our strong foundation. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Welcome back to Grand Lakes Health's presentation of NK Toco Sports. Very even games played so far as New Knoxville the one point lead. Yeah, it's been a back and forth game a little bit. New Knoxville's held the lead for the most part of the game. And remember New Knoxville second quarter, I think it was Dave, or sometime in the second quarter, they went to zone defense. Nice pass to Rammel, gets her own rebound and finishes. <laughs> Good offensive stick back for Rammel. Took two tries, but she comes away with points, and that basket gives the Indians a, their first lead in a while. But again, all started, even against his own Dave, I believe it was Colleg able to penetrate. Nunas will have to step up and then bounce passes open to Rammel. Leffel tries to drive to Jurassic. Two minutes to go. Fort Recovery, a deeper team than what New Knoxville is. See so that becomes a factor as Leffel shot off the mark, and Homan with the rebound. Pass ahead to Wendell. Collick to Holman. Coming up on two minutes to go. Two minute warning, if you will, before halftime. As New Knoxville has stayed in the zone a lot here in the second quarter. Yeah, they have it again. Maybe just trying to conserve a little bit of energy, but. Uh, and there's a steal. First turnover of the quarter for full recovery. See if the Rangers can capitalize as Gable. Hands it to Leffel. Gable thought about a three as they work it around the perimeter. Down to Jurassic against Rammel. Nice move, Megan Jurassic. Had a move similar to that in the first quarter. Shot didn't go down. And that time, similar idea, similar move, but able to cash in. New Knoxville now is forced back to back turnovers against full recovery. That steal by Leffel as Leffel looking for some. Breathing heavy at this point. Jurassic with a left-handed move this time. Gets her own rebound to Leffel. Second chance here for the Rangers. Go to Jurassic again. Spins up and under and banks it left-handed hook. Nice move. I think the crowd thinks it's traveling. It is not, so uh, a nice move. It's like a layup, so it looks weird, but if you're not you haven't seen it much. It's a nice move and back to back buckets for Jurassic. Yeah, good point. It, it is an unusual move. So the first tendency is people think that it's traveling, but she pointed out it's like a layup and a good left handed shot gives the Rangers a three point lead. Mullenkamp's been out of this game a lot with two fouls. She remains on the bench. Wendell to Colic down to 18 seconds. Work around the perimeter for camp. Wendell finds Colic. She'll drive. 
draws the foul. Wow. Again, just running. I mean, there's contact, but as a defender, you're allowed to stand still and Let's get another look at it here. Watch five, see what's, that's Boy. standing right there. She looks like she's pretty set there. <laughs> Second foul on Morgan Leffel, and also two shots here by Brooke Collick. So Olivia Patch comes back in. Collick now one of three, again, a 77% shooter, very good free throw shooter on the season, 40 of 52. Draws the Indians within one, seven seconds to go. Gable pulls up a shot that is short. Good half of basketball here in this district semifinal. On our first National Bank scoreboard, the Rangers lead by one. We'll be back with our first half stats when we return on NK Toko Sports. For over 150 years, Cargill has been helping people be successful worldwide. Cargill has always done business responsibly and in a way that makes us proud. Whether it is educating farmers in India or providing bikes to students with perfect attendance right here at home, Cargill is helping people thrive. The Sydney plant is just one piece of a global company that provides employment for hundreds of thousands, food for the world, and support for thousands of businesses. Be a part of something great at Cargill.com. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Wegner's IGA have been servicing their communities for more than 90 years, spanning three generations. Wegner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and a variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wegner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and New Bremen. Health presentation of NK Telco Sports evenly played game. New Knoxville up by one with the first half numbers. Mr. Jeff Henson. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, as you said, a one-point game. New Knoxville in the first half hitting on 46% of their field goals. Included in that is a very nice three of five from three-point range. For recovery, first half field goal shooting at 43%. She took nine attempts, again, nine attempts, making two. They only shoot 27% as a team on the season. Shot nine of them in the first half, only made two. Just two of five from the foul line. Rebounding margin pretty even. For recovery has one additional rebound. And turnover to Knoxville, as I mentioned, came into the game averaging 11. And for recovery averaging 13, so a little high for the Rangers. And the one big one was that resulted in a uncontested layup for the for recovery Indians, a half court trap, forcing a turnover against the Rangers and a score at the other end. So an exciting first two quarters of action and uh, two good teams and playing pretty well right now in this district semifinal. Yeah, you would never think just in watching this first two quarters that the first game between these two is 20 point win by four recovery, but a lot of things can happen. The second game usually is always closer when you have a rebound. Yeah, New Knoxville just did not play well, shoot well, four recovery shot well and played very good defense so he had those two things together and it was a dominating win and whether you lose by one or 22 it's one loss yeah. you know and you also got it you know knocked in the face against for recovery there um, coming back right here so far playing a very nice game for recovery had some foul troubles in the first half with Val Molenkamp their leading scorer with two fouls and had to sit out probably maybe total half of the quarter, maybe or maybe 40% of the 16 minutes, but she avoided picking up her third, and she's somewhat good to go, if you will, here in the second half. She has two fouls as well as Allie Vaughn, who now has the basketball for New Knoxville. Taylor Newman and Morgan Leffel, both with two fouls. Nice tip away by Jurassic results in the turnover. Gable setting the offense. Trying to drive. 
Has to pass it over to Leffel. Jacqueline. Against his man-to-man -man defense in the Indians. They've been man-to-man -man the whole time. The Oxford put, played a fair amount of zone in the second quarter. Leffel. Gable. Three. Long rebound to Vaughn. Up ahead, Colick with a nice catch. Got a high pass, avoided the turnover. Good job catching it, maintaining balance, not creating a turnover. Molenkamp has yet to score, which is unusual. Of course, she had the foul trouble. Drive by Wendell, Patch keeps it alive. Wendell with another chance. Three in, and a two-point lead for the Indians. Yeah, big offensive rebound by full recovery. They kept it alive, and they missed a short two, and they hit a long three, so a good start for the Indians. Last game when you also played New Bremen. It's been moved by Gable. She Gable. got the front of the roll. In that sectional championship game, she had a good start to the third quarter, opened up the lead against the Cardinals, hit a couple three-point shots, and opened that lead up for the Rangers, which they held on to win. Gets a nice runner there, a nice two-point bucket for her sixth point of the game. 25-25, we are tied on our first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank, think first. Wendell leads all scores. She's dribbling the basketball right, out, right now, number 20 with 11. Mullenkamp tries a corner three, good hustle by Colick. Followed by Mullenkamp, can't get it to fall and there's gonna be a rebound there. Some, some missed opportunities for the Indians. So the foul will go on Brooke Colick. Yeah, do not still survives again. A couple offensive rebounds there and not able to put it back in and then he come up with a personal foul on Colleg. Gable pushes the tempo into the corner. Jurassic top of the key. She's not a threat to shoot there. Now Gable. Well, I didn't think Patch was a threat to shoot from outside either. Right. She hit a triple later in the uh, second quarter. You never know nowadays with three pointers. Or are they really across the court? So they work it around now on the right wing. Left hole to Jurassic. Good entry. And got an excellent pass to kind of let her that way. And, and Patch, I think, lunged at it. That allowed Jurassic to pivot and going with her body, kissed it off the glass. Wendell with a three. On the rebound, there is a foul. And that will be the third foul against Leffel. So that's a costly foul. Yeah, she will leave. Again, the Rangers not very deep. They will go six use six players. players so. But watch another offensive rebound. Four already here for four recovery. Gable really will call a jump ball. That'll be a turnover because it'll favor the Rangers in possession. Good job by Gable. Those out of bounds play so much moving anymore. And everyone looking for the back door opening, if you will. Gable jumped a, a pick and got right into the passing lane. Forced to tie up. And here comes a double team by full recovery. So again, be careful crossing the timeline. Because then you're stuck. Ryan Fletter John tries to put up a shot. Save, but into the Indians is Molenkamp with the basketball. Fletter John doing the right thing, going right at the defense. Didn't get a call, foul call on her, but um, the Rangers, though, will get it back here on the first turnover of the half by the Indians. Double dribble on the Indians. Indi cover, uh, go ahead, Dave. The Indians 12 and 12 last year. They returned everybody from last year. The new coach, Hallie, Holly Stein Gann. Got a lot of talent on the team last year. Lost in the district semi to Minster. Tough move there. Gable doing the right idea. The defense did not turn around. She basically followed the defender, but couldn't get her left-handed shot to go in. Colic tries to drive. They have a lot of different options on this offense. Wendell to the hole, rolls off as she draws a foul. And Wendell has been very creative tonight. She is, she definitely can go to the basket off the dribble, very elusive, gets around the defender. Foul that time on Flutter John, her first. You know, I talked about the different options on offense. A lot of teams, when your leading scorer like Mullenkamp hasn't scored because of foul trouble, they lose their, they have a lot of trouble on offense. You wouldn't have, they have a lot of different options. As we talked about, a very balanced scoring attack. As yeah, Wendell. they do. I mean, well, even Molenkamp, she averages 10, but there's a host of two or three other girls right around eight. So 
you know, it's not like the other ones rely only on Mullen Camp, but two missed free throws by Wendell. Wharton Covering, not a very good shooting team from the free throws, only 59%. New Knoxville, on the other hand, Dave, 67%. Could see if it's an advantage that they can exploit, and that's tipped away. Wendell. Kiera pull up, rolls off, followed by Mullenkamp. Follows again, and this time in. Timeout by Coach Gann. Full timeout as we go to the timeout on our first National Bank scoreboard, tied at 27. We'll be right back. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center offers a family-friendly environment with a personalized approach to reduce pain, restore function, and improve mobility. Dr. Christopher Stuckey specializes in reconstructive foot and ankle surgery, diabetic foot care, trauma including fractures and sports injuries, along with bunions, hammer toes, and ingrown toenails. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center has offices located in St. Mary's and Salina. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-394-8664. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Welcome back to Grand Lake Health presentation of NK Telco Sports. About halfway through this third quarter, we are tied once again. We're tied, and I think Fort Recovery might be kicking themselves a little bit. They finally get an offensive rebound. They've had a number of them, but the first one, the last one, a basket by Val Mullenkamp, the first time they've been able to cash those in for points. And the first points by Mullenkamp is there's a foul. That's going to be a third on Mullenkamp reaching through Flutter John. See what Coach Gann does. She pulled Mullenkamp most of the, yeah, probably half of the first half. And a little bit in the second quarter, she came back in. Right now, she's talking to her assistant. Almost picked up her fourth one. Gables open for the three and nails it. Big shot by the Rangers. A couple of Indians fall down. Gable, in the end, steps back and hits her first three-point shot of the game. Shoots it at 39% day. That's almost 40% from beyond the arc for Gable. Very good percentage. 38 made, 38-9 now made three-pointers on the season. 98 attempts. And a big three-pointer to give the lead back to the Rangers. And we have a foul. I think away from the basket, about away from the ball. Newman, Taylor Newman picks up the foul. Her third. Morgan Leffel already on the bench with three fouls. As Wendell inbounded. Vaughn didn't see it coming. Luckily caught the ball. Willkamp stays out there with three fouls. Colic tries to drive to Wendell. Knox goes switch back to the man defense as Wendell pulls it out. Both these offenses been a little bit more patient, or the defense has been more effective in the second half. Take your pick. But the scoring has slowed down a lot. It was 23 22. And there's a three ball off the mark, tipped around on the floor. And Gable comes up with it. Newman had a little bit of breakaway and pulls it away to Fletter John. A good scramble there by the Rangers as uh, the hustle plays. The 50-50 ball could have gone either way. Do not so fortunate to get the, the ball and avoid another opportunity for the Indians following the missed three-pointer. Gable, under two minutes to go here in the third quarter for a chance to come back Saturday night to play Minster in the district final. So work it around the perimeter, being very patient as they run through their offense. Coach Hegemeyer shouting instructions as Gable trying to find an opening. Lobs it to Jurassic. Spin move, rolls it up there. Goes out of bounds. And ball on the floor. Rangers keep it alive. Gable, that is short. 
Long rebound, Leffel will try three. And there is a foul on the rebound. As Vaughn falls down, they'll call it on the Rangers. Haley Flutterjohn gets the foul call, her second. So take another look at the right side of your picture there. Vaughn loses it as she uh, it loses maybe, her balance. It maybe looked like a foul. I don't think Haley tried to pull her down. I think when Vaughn began to fall down, it looked like a takedown, but tough, tough break there for New Knoxville and a, a good effort there. Boy, a big possession for the Rangers. Couple looks at it, got a few offensive rebounds. Big shot would have really gained some momentum for them, but for recovery though, we'll breathe a sigh of a relief, if you will, and come back and face now what a zone defense now by New Knoxville. Collick tries to drive, has to pick up her dribble. And there'll be a five count. No, before that, Coach Gann with the timeout, be a 30 second timeout. Gives us an opportunity to remind you Grand Lakes Hall's presentation of high school sports on AK Telco Sports is being brought to you by Frost Roofing. Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Fly Gem, Precision Strip, Sweeterman Pharmacy, New Knoxville Supply, Ferguson Construction, Fowler's TV, Wilson Health, Cy Sweeterman Incorporated, Carriage Works, Kobe Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning, Wayne Trail, Cargill, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, The Spot, St. Mary's Foundry. Our keys to the game is brought to you by Keyhole Pizza, our replay sponsor, Winner's Meats. We will have a player of the game sponsored by NK Telco Sports. And on our first National Bank scoreboard, under minutes go here, third quarter, the Rangers up by three. You talked about the offense slowing down a little bit ago, Dave. The last time Ford Recovery took a timeout in this quarter was with 3.45 to go in the quarter. It was 27-27. So they've not scored since at least the 3.45 mark. And New Knoxville just three points since that three minute and 45 second mark when Ford Recovery took their last timeout. This time they take it to avoid a five second count. Each team with three timeouts left. Indians have only scored four point, no, five points. I think the last one was on a two pointer by Mullenkamp off an offensive rebound. Down to 40 seconds. This zone has, has slowed them down definitely and they've had to think through their offense. Teams don't play as much zone as they used to, I don't believe. And you have to, get your zone offense geared up again. And there will be a foul on Gable. Her first foul, 15 foul. Only two on the Indians here in this half. 23 seconds to go before the quarter break. Wendell. Colic on the wing, down to Vaughn. Four camp over to Wendell. Vaughn Rammel with a jumper, and there's Forkamp to put it in. A fortunate miss there as Forkamp sticks it in, and at the end of the quarter of play, we go to the fourth quarter and a good one on our first National Bank scoreboard in Knoxville 30 for recovery 29 on NK Telco Sports. At CAPT, we use hometown opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility, it gets put on the website. We've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years. If anyone is looking for a job, it's the, it's the best place to go. We really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area. I would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it. It's a very good benefit for companies at no cost. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. As we go to the fourth quarter of Grand Lake Health's presentation of NK Telco Sports, hope you're enjoying this one. It's a good one. The Rangers lead by one. Well, a, a non-offensive quarter, if you will. Each team just scoring seven points, but 
Full recovery gets her last four points, two baskets, both of them off offensive rebounds. So they had eight total rebounds in the half off offensive end, put the last two in for buckets. That might have been their best offense against this Ranger defense is shoot and crash the glass and go for the rebound. Bowen came back in with three fouls as well as Morgan Leffel with three fouls. Good pass underneath to Vaughn. And the Indians take the lead by one. Vaughn got inside position, and I believe it was Rammel found it with a bounce pass. You know, I saw the recovery Indians girl get in front of him. Gable kicks it out in the corner. Stolen by Fort Recovery. Mullenkamp came up with a steal. Wendell with the drive. Tough shot. Rolls off. Jurassic with a big rebound. Boy, New Oxford gets a break there as um, Wendell looked like she had an opening. Fletter John into the corner. Leffel with the corner three. Big shot, her second made three point bucket of the game. And uh, spent some time on the bench. She has three fouls, but a big shot by the junior. Gives the lead back to the Rangers by two. 33 31 on our first National Bank scoreboard. Fort Recovery got a good look the last time. They came baseline just like here, and then the cutter slipped down, and Knoxville didn't defend it. This time, do a much better job. Although Fort Recovery really didn't send a cutter through that time. Vaughn hits the jumper, about a 12-footer baseline. We're tied again. Vaughn, four quick points here in the fourth quarter. Gives her nine in the contest. Gable had a little bit of an opening for a little bit as she'll direct the offense. 33-33. Back to Gable. Trying to post up Jurassic underneath. Left-handed shot off balance. Fortunately for New Knoxville, goes off of Wendell. Wow, big break there. Gable trying to create offense, and uh, her errant shot not fielded cleanly, if you will, and New Knox will have another look at it following the timeout. You'll be watching tournament basketball on NK Toco Sports. Here's the thing. If you're the kind of guy who eats, sleeps, and breathes farming, who gets up at dawn, determined to get the best crop and the best yield, why surrender to the mercy of the water table? Cy Schwiedemann Incorporated can lower your water table to an average of two to three feet below the surface, allowing you to grow stronger, healthier plants that root deeper, that are more resilient to the elements, that enable longer growing seasons, and can produce higher results in the fields and in your pocket. Trust CSI, your drainage expert since 1946. Sweet. Get a look at a couple of young Fort Recovery fans those on are, the bench. Those and are managers. Managers, Dave. yeah, and they're uh, enjoying this game as as everyone else is. We're in the fourth quarter. We are all tied at 33. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see once how this uh, obviously plays out. It's been a competitive, close game throughout, and uh, each team has had some looks to you know grow the lead. They have not been able to do so, so it's kind of slowed down. Remember, it was a 14 to 11 in the first quarter score. Somewhat offensively, that has slowed down as New Knoxville is going 14, 9, and 7. Fort Recovery is going 11, 11, and 7. So not much offense here in the second half. And again, two very good defensive teams. Down to Jurassic. Kicks it out. Leffel puts up a shot. A blocking foul. Presser had a lot of tough calls on the blocking versus charge calls. This time goes in favor of Leffel, where before she had a foul, blocking foul called against her as Morgan Leffel will shoot two foul shots. Three of four on the night. Averaging on the season 10.7. As Vaughn comes in, Fort Camp will leave. As Leffel trying to extend this one point lead. Rattles at home. 35 33. Leffel now with 13 points on the night. Leads New Knoxville in scoring. Mullen Camp tries to drive. Wendell through traffic as she throws it out of bounds. A great double team 
there by the Rangers, triple team even. Yeah, Wendell tried to obviously split some defenders and that time Rangers able to kind of put a hand on the ball without fouling. That kind of threw Wendell off balance and versus traveling, she has to throw an off balance pass, goes out of bounds. Rangers break the pressure. But again, that, that turnover, Dave, not, it's a dead ball foul, dead ball turnover, so nothing that New Knoxville can take advantage of in transition. Laffle to Laffle. Flex offense here, we'll see once. Obviously, New Knoxville trying to take a little bit of time off with just basically six players on the roster. This is a way to kind of wear down the defense a little bit, maybe find a matchup then that you like. Jurassic, a nice move over Ramble. Lead to four. Nine points for Jurassic. Good strong move off the glass. Nice pass by Wendell and a foul. What? Hell oh, camp. Yes, found Wendell. Kind of snuck down here on the baseline. And on the shot, we'll see if. Uh, Look at this pass. Yeah, it's really good job by Wendell and Gable. Just a little off vertical there. And we've seen a lot of worst, you know, contact calls, but there was a little bit of non verticality there. And the foul goes against Gable, her second foul. Indians are leaving a lot of points on the foul line as Wendell misses the first one. Two of five in the first half, over two in the second half. Now make it over four, so I got him down for two for nine from the free throw line. Big misses is right, Dave, and the chance here for the Rangers to open up a, the bigger lead they've had since maybe way back in early in the first quarter Rangers, with a bucket. Rangers the number four seed, the Indians number one seed. Winner will play the number three seeded Indians, and there's a steal by Colic, almost stolen away by the Rangers, but it will stay with the Indians. Yeah, very quick hands by Brooke Colic. You mentioned Alma mentioned, and you know she have her listed as a defensive stopper. She literally just kind of like with a very quick jab arm in there, knocked it away from Flutter John, and able to secure it. They avoid the giving it back, and good defensive play by Brooke Colic. Probably. A Indians, probably a point here where the Indians won a basket here. We're halfway through this fourth quarter, down by four. Every possession so critical to go down the stretch. Wendell, as, as New Knoxville has switched to the man-to-man -man defense. And Molenkamp's not in the, there yeah, she is. She's in the game, there she is. There she is, cuts the basket, banks it home. Good pass there by Colick. As Mullenkamp flashes into the lane and a good pass as we'll take another look on our replay. Nice hard pass and a good catch. People forget about how when you can catch the ball like that, it's not as easy as it looks and a chance for the three point play here by Mullenkamp. A good answer for forward coverage. New Knoxville had the ball trying to grow a four point lead and then they get the uh, basket and free throw. Leffel with a basket. She wasn't looking when that pass was thrown. No, she wasn't. Gable saw her. You always have to be awake when Gable has the ball. She's always looking for an open receiver. Patch, turnaround, followed by Vaughn. Rebound Leffel. And there's a steal by Collett. She tries to save it before she goes over and back. Ball on the floor will have a foul. foul. I think they'll call a foul on Leffel. I think she was trying to get the jump ball. So a tough break by Leffel, and that will be a one and one here. And the fourth foul on Jacqueline Leffel. So a lot happened there. Collett came up with a nice steal, and then she got to half court. She had the presence of mind to realize she can't go over and back. She knocks it back there. Vaughn tries to save it, and then on the scrum, fourth foul on Leffel. I, I take it back, it's her second foul. Oh, wrong Leffel. She, another missed free throw by the Indians. Three-point lead by the Rangers. He needs to cut it to one, but then the quick basket by Jacqueline Leffel. Yeah, an assist from Gable, like I said, pushing the ball down the court and basically threw it almost like a quarterback before the receiver turned around and Leffel able to recover and make a right-handed layup for a left-handed girl. Drive by Gable and it rolls off. Rebound Mullenkamp, she's double team, able to get it to a teammate Vaughn. They got I say they had a little bit of numbers, but they're going to call a timeout first. Timeout on the Indians. We will see if it's a full or a full 
time out. Now we will step aside. You're watching tournament basketball on NK Telco Sports. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. So we go down the stretch. Hope you're enjoying well, NK Toko. Correct that. Grand Lakes Health presentation. NK Telco Sports, the Rangers with the three point lead. Yeah, it was, uh, it's been a wild battle, no doubt, as each team, I mean, Oxford's had some chances. Gable, the great move in the last possession, misses a tough layup on the drive to the basket for recovery. Then coming down the court, looks like they had maybe four on three. And Coach Gann calls timeout as they cross half court. Don't know if that would have led to anything, but uh, nonetheless, a timeout. New Knoxville falls back in the zone. Each team with two timeouts left in the ball game. The final two minutes, 40 seconds. So Tegmeyer playing a little cat and mouse with the defense. A lot of switching between man and zone. This time back to zone after the timeout. Three ball drain. There by Kiera Wendell. We're tied again. Wendell has made now two three-pointers in the game, both in the second half. There's a good diagonal pass. Laffle with another layup, another assist by Gable. Diagonal pass, and that long pass will beat the defense because you're double teaming. You can throw the ball faster than they can run. Wendell pull up, patch with the rebound, and Fletter John, the wrong time there, draws the foul. Yeah, it's tougher when you're smaller trying to box out. Patch much taller than Flutter John. As Flutter John kind of continued to back up, you can't really go into the rebounder. 70% free throw shooter for Patch. Only 10 attempts this season. Seven of 10, big ones here. Hits the first one. Patch on her way to play at Hillsdale College. Was getting another replay brought to you by Winners Meets. That was well short in a Big rebound there. Chance to tie here by Patch. And she does. 41-41. And the unofficial two-minute warning right now. We've right had, now. There we go. We've had three ties and three late, late lead changes just in this fourth quarter. Leffel. And that's thrown too high. I think she wasn't sure if she could dribble again. She had caught it and dropped it, and you never know if that's counted as a dribble because the defender was all over her. So definitely had, you know, it would be nice to ask the official, can I dribble or not? But the pass, a little high, turnover New Knoxville. First time in a while the Indians could go ahead in this possession. 41-41 as New Knoxville switches to the man. Wendell Colick meets the pass. Switches off. She's now guarded by Flutterjohn. Wendell down to 123. Vaughn drives, tries to find a teammate, thrown out of bounds. And it'll be Ranger basketball. Yeah, Vaughn doing the right thing, penetrating, and I think either the ball slipped or she assumed someone was over there, but uh, turnover for the, Red, the Indians, and both times they both possessions, both teams kind of throw the ball to bounds on uh, Aaron passes. Timeout by New Knoxville. Gives us a chance to remind you the Grand Lake Hills presentation of high school athletics on NK Toco Sports is being brought to you by Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Jam, Precision Strip, Schruderman Pharmacy, New Knoxville Supply, Ferguson Construction, Fowler's TV, Wilson Health, Cy Schruderman Incorporated, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning, Wayne Trail, Cargill, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, The Spot, St. Mary's Foundry. We announce a player of the game at the end of this. As we are tied 41-41. Coach Holly Gann, she was coach, or she was Holly Stein when she played. She graduated 2007. The last game that she played was against New Knoxville in a district final. 
And her team lost on a last second shot by Haley Cruz. Yeah, we had that game at the Palace and Coldwater. Palace, you and I had that game, and uh, that was a big win on the way. Bernie Knox was going all the way to the state finals exactly that year. Exactly right. That was your coach Hegemar took a squad there. I think it referred to a crazy shot as the money shot, the ca big cash, whatever. Hit the baseline jumper to defeat full recovery. And foul. Now there's a foul for recovery. It's only their fourth team foul. And I think they're going to be a little more grad. That was a matter of strategy there. So boy, full recovery can play very aggressive. You know, just 14 fouls. They can foul two more times before putting New Knoxville on the free throw line. Next foul against New Knoxville will be two shots for the four recovery Indians. 108 to go. That's a long time to hold for the last shot. As Gable. And there's an opening. Leffel for the layup. Those two have connected so well late in the season. They've uh, had many of those looks late in the season, and Leffel puts the Rangers up by two, assists Gable. Molenkamp to Wendell. Indians have two timeouts if they want it. Molenkamp rattles in a three. Her first made three-point shot of the game. Shoots it at 29%, but just her first make of the game. Knoxville has a timeout if they want it. There is a foul on 15 running over Jurassic. Gable tries to drive down to 21 seconds. Fletter John down to 18. Gable with the shot and in the trade. Ellie Gable gives the lead back to the Rangers. 11, nine, 11 seconds left. Stay here. Back-to-back -back triples exchanged by Mullen Camp and now Gable take another look out of here. Wide open and a breakdown in defense and the sophomore does what she does and that's hit the big shot to put the Rangers back up. Wow, you saw in the last possession for the Indians, Val Molenkamp, the senior, stepped up to take a big three-pointer and nails it. And the Knoxville didn't panic, they didn't immediately call the timeout, they worked it through and they rewarded a big money shot that time there by Ellie Gable. Yeah, back-to-back -back big plays uh, by Molenkamp and now Gable hitting shots and that's what it's all about. Two good quality teams here playing, and unfortunately, one of them is going to go home. One's going to advance to play the Minster for the district championship, but uh, job well done so far tonight. We still have 11 seconds left, each team with a timeout. Remember, if New Knoxville commits the foul, two shots before recovery. Which hasn't been very kind to them, their foul shooting tonight. No, they haven't been. I'll look that up here. But in this, yeah, so far two for five in this quarter, and in the half, two for seven in this half alone. They were two for five in the first half, so roughly, I'm gonna say four for 12. They have to go the length of the court. In this quarter, there have been five lead changes and three ties. We'll see if we have any more of those in 11.9 here. Wendell with the basketball. Gives it up to Vaughn, down to six seconds, patch to Molenkamp, will drive to the basket, and will That's not go in. in, and the Knoxville Rangers escape. In a great ball game, as they hug Coach Hegemeyer, a happy bunch of Rangers. Wow, what a ball game. Good job by the Rangers to finish it out. The Indians battled. Exchange blows. He said the number of lead changes in the fourth quarter ties. I mean, each team going back and forth. What a what a ball game here! And uh, congratulations to New Knoxville, Mac Champs in Mary Local, Mac Champs in full recovery, both defeated tonight by Minster and New Knoxville, respectively. Final score there. You see it on our first National Bank scoreboard. The Rangers win by one. We'll be back to wrap it up on NK Toko Sports. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big health care strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits. And it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health. Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Fowler's TV in St. Mary's. A Sono 
system takes the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Fowler's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Fowler's TV, taking game day to the next level. Hope you enjoyed this Grand Lake Health presentation of NK Telco Sports, a good one here. The Knoxville Rangers win by two over Fort Recovery with the final numbers, Mr. Jeff Hetchin. Well, a close game throughout New Knoxville probably led for the higher percentage of the game, but when at that point, maybe the biggest lead was four or five early. And then for recovery, when they did take a lead and late in the quarter, maybe one or two points, but back and forth today, the stats are very even. You look at New Knoxville, as, at least for field goal shooting, 50% from the field, the Rangers were even better from three point line, six of 11. The Indians were 17 of 35 overall, just five of 15. Actually, probably a little bit better than their season average, but made five of 15. The free throws is probably the difference in the game. The Rangers, very good, eight of 10 on the night. The full recovery left some points there at the line, just five of 13. They do, the Indians, that is, win the rebound margin, 27 21, and got about eight points on offensive rebounds. New Knoxville just two, so they were able to put some back, not as many as probably they wish they could. And turnovers, New Knoxville much better in the second half, only four second half turnovers and what a game I mean just back and forth good plays uh, good defense and two teams fought to the very end as uh, the tying shot doesn't drop for the Indians and the New Knoxville advances a good quality ball game score by quarters New Knoxville 14 11 after the first quarter 23 22 they led by one after three as well 30 to 29 and then when 46 44 for the final score in our first National Bank scoreboard. Fort Recovery ends a very good season, 18 and six. Co-MAC champs along with Marion Local, uh, where New Knoxville goes 18 and seven with the win tonight. And uh, as you mentioned, it's just such a good ball game and a lot of different scores. Let's look at the individual scoring. Well, for Fort Recovery, they were led by junior Kira Wendell. She ends the game with 14 points. Nine points for Allie Vaughn, eight points for Val Molenkamp, all those in the second half. Seven from Olivia Patch, two pieces for, or two points each from Whitley Rammel, Brooke Collig, and Paige Fortcamp, their total of 44. New Knoxville had two players in double figures. They were led tonight by Morgan Luffel with 15 points, 12 points from Ellie Gable, nine points from Meg Jurassic, seven from Jacqueline Luffel, and three from Haley Flitter, John, their total of 46. So congratulations to the New Knoxville Rangers. Congratulations to the Indians. Just a very well-played team. Good coaching, good playing. Just one of those, it's a shame to uh, anyone who lose this. Uh, player of the game is tough to decide in the player of the game. But Morgan Leffel, our player of the game tonight for New Knoxville. Morgan finishes with game high honors of 15 points. She was five, I'm sorry, four of six from the field, which included two of two from beyond the arc. She was five of six from the free throw line, battled through some foul trouble, held Molenkamp in check most of the night on the Fort Recovery side, played great defense. Uh, congratulations to the junior Morgan Luffel for our player of the game sponsored by NK Telco. And as they win tonight, the New Knoxville Rangers will be back in action on Saturday night. A game we'll have on NK Telco Sports. The number four seeded New Knoxville Rangers will play the number three seeded Minster Wildcats. And uh, that'll be a heck of a battle. That wasn't too long ago that those two teams played. That was just back in February 6th. Uh, Minster won that at the barn by eight, but it was much closer. It was that. much closer. They uh, kind of opened it up there in the second half in the fourth quarter, especially it was a much closer game than that. So. Yeah, should be interesting. Minster played a very physical game against Marion Local in the, in the pregame tonight or the first game, and they've got some scores, especially Ivory Wolf, who can do a lot. Janae Hoyne, also very creative off the dribble and from the outside, and their post players are beginning to make some more plays inside, so they're, they're a good team as well. Should be a great MAC District Championship Finals here from Wapak. I'd like to thank our NK Telco Sports crew, Director Bryce Hamrick, Assisted by Ian Bolheimer on camera, Mark Fissel, Nolan Emerson, and Kurt Kuffner. My partner, Jeff Hench, and I'm Dave Kanapke. Thanks for watching.
on NK Toko Sports.